Welcome everyone back to another video and we have a small update, possibly first of two updates this weekend and most likely so because Sean YG has just posted Police Week update is still coming this weekend. So we will be getting an update most likely tomorrow since tomorrow is the end of Police Week and it would make a lot of sense. And the game has just hit 777,000 likes while we were live streaming, so that was really cool. Two new vehicles have been added to the game. Mercedes G-Wagon, oh, the two names are here, we've got Stuttgart Landshaft and a lawnmower. <laughs> it's just called a lawnmower. But this is uh, based off the Mercedes G-Class or G-Wagon, sorry, in real life. Beautiful car. Um, and then we've got the lawnmower here. Uh, and you can see it looks like it actually cuts grass. And we tried this on stream. There's some pretty cool things you can do with this vehicle. So let's get right into this and show you what you get with the both of the vehicles. Two new vehicles are added in the game. And basically you don't need to refresh your server or anything. They just get uh, pushed to your server that you're in. You can see the lawnmower here is $2.9 thousand dollars. Uh, it actually looks quite nice, a small model here. We'll get it in a red to start off with. Ollie's got one and we'll go and uh, see his in just a second, but let's just go and spawn this in here. So you can see, very lightweight. The camera is kind of my only concern with this because it drops down. Like, you can see the close-up camera is down here because it then drops. It, it's a weight. I don't know why it does this, but it's cool in first person. It's actually really nice in first person here. Um, one of the only or the only vehicle that's got an outside cab. And it's quite nice, actually. So you, this is a part that cuts grass, I believe. Um, and then you can see the pedals here and everything. So kind of cool. Kind of cool. Now, there's actually a very neat feature with this. If we go and drive on grass over here... You can see it actually cuts it. And I, I really didn't believe my stream when they said this at first, but no, it actually does. You go to Ollie, because he's got a better example set up. You can see as he goes down, it mows all of this grass here. It's actually super cool. You could do role plays where you start a business, uh, lawn mowing, people's yards, that sort of stuff. And it actually looks really good. And then it turns into this leafy grass texture. Now, we haven't exactly tried how long or tested how long it stays like this and how long until it regenerates. I'd say at least two or three minutes, though, because when we tried this on stream, it didn't regenerate for quite a while. So... It's really neat. I really do like this a lot here. And you can see it's actually bringing the sand up more. That's cool. That is really cool. So definitely a really nice feature. I'm one of the only vehicles to have like something that interacts with the landscape of UFC. Very, very cool. And you can also see Ollie's got his uh, Poly Suite 21 license plate. Hopefully we can get something like that tomorrow. Now, as you would expect, this is an expensive car, right? It's, it's sort of a luxury SUV off-roading vehicle. You can get it here. It is just under $250,000 in game. So pretty expensive, pretty expensive to be fair. We'll get it in, probably a white looks best. Yeah, we're going in a white there. There we go, we're going to spawn this in. Ollie's got it in a blue variant over there. Spawn in in a white, it looks really good. You've got the extra tire in the back, lots and lots, it's a very high vehicle, so lots of ground clearance. Like you can see, I can only just peer over the window and the door. One of my favorite aspects of this vehicle is the um, pop-up kind of indicators. You can see here these two flash, so that's really cool. And it's a really bulky kind of modern uh, SUV off-roading vehicle here. And I think the best place to test this is if we head over to High Rock Park. We can also test speed along the way there. Barreling down this hill. Oh, geez. Okay, that's a lot of speed. Barreling down this hill, uh, the top speed of this vehicle seems to be 126 miles an hour. It is certainly not the fastest vehicle in the game. However, the handling and the off-road capabilities should make up for this. So if we had our, probably this route is the more trickier off-roading section. Uh, kind of did just run the barrier there. Ollie is going to sneak in right behind me. Doesn't have to pay the $3 fee. Um, and you can see getting up here with any vehicle, with most uh, vehicles, the vehicle will be stuck in either gear one or gear two um, and just be trying to get up here really slowly. This vehicle is getting up here at 40 miles an hour. Um, you can see it slows down a bit of the hairpins. But for the most part, we are barreling up here and it's a relatively smooth ride. You can see the suspension is working amazingly. It's kind of hard to see there, but you can see the back suspension especially working as we go over those bumps. It's a great off-roading vehicle. Not one you want to bring to a drag race because it is not that fast, but it is great if you want to do some off-roading role plays and explore the mountainous regions of your sea. The dirt on it looks really cool. You got this in probably a darker gray or a black. That would look even better. 
So yeah, there you go. There are the uh, two new vehicles inside of Emergency Responsibility County. You may have seen some clips of literally driving the lawnmower underwater. I have another video most likely going up on my clips channel showing you everything that you missed in this update. Some pretty cool features you can do with these two new vehicles and literally driving underwater like a submarine. It's crazy. So stick around for that. Check out my second channel as well. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you to Ollie for helping out with this video. I'll see you over this weekend for the Police Week update. Have a good one.